Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these blue, pink, and gold dragon scale dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get things started with our roll for bread. Four, tomato basil wrap. It's been a while since we've made a wrap or used a tortilla on the show. Some people take quite an issue with that, but I still think wraps fall under the purview of roll for sandwich. Next up, let's roll for our main. Nine, garlic summer sausage. All right, this time we're gonna remove the sausage casing before slicing. That's definitely the easier way to do it. And I think since we'll be putting it in a wrap, I'll cut it into strips afterwards, so that way it'll be easier to roll up the wrap. Not a bad start for a Monday. All right, let's roll for cheese. Three, provolone. Provolone is a decent choice for this. The smokiness should go well with the summer sausage. I am gonna rip the slices in half because again, I think that that'll make rolling up the wrap easier. Three rolls down, three to go. Let's roll for our roughage. Five watercress and six green pepper. I'm glad we ended up with some kind of leafy roughage on this one. I think that's pretty essential for a good wrap. Green pepper was another good roll. I'm a big fan of always including something crunchy inside of a wrap. There's something about the contrast of the soft tortilla on the outside and the crunch inside that I just really enjoy. And the slightly bitter pepper with the piquant watercress should be a good combination. All right, it's time to get wild with our wild magic roll. 13, tortilla strips. Well, if the green pepper didn't do it, these surely will give us a nice crunch. We're also putting tortilla in our tortilla, which there's nothing wrong with, it's just kind of funny. And last but not least is the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. 15, Pizza Hot Sauce Ranch. Every wrap needs to be finished off with a good sauce, and I think that this is a pretty good match for this one. Just a little spicy with a nice creamy ranch base and a nice flavor of crushed red pepper. Now comes the all-important task of rolling up our wrap. I feel pretty good about this one as far as the interior components go, so hopefully it holds together. Let's go ahead and get our toothpicks in here to help hold it together, and let's cut it in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. That looks pretty dang good. I had an amazing time in Indianapolis this past weekend, but lost my voice a little bit, you can probably tell. Let's give our Monday wrap a taste. Mmm, yeah, this is pretty nice. I'm a sucker for tortilla strips in a wrap or burrito or soft taco. Some of my favorite items at Taco Bell have those. The summer sausage is good. It's probably not the absolute best filling for a wrap, but all the flavors are here. Yeah, I'm digging this. And the pizza ranch hot sauce, perfect. Not too spicy with a good amount of creaminess really makes the wrap work. All in all, not too shabby, especially for a Monday. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 9.6. And I'm going to call it the Crunchwrap Sublime. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out and for everyone who came down to Elf and Moon in Indianapolis this weekend. It was a blast meeting you. Have a great day. I'll see you Wednesday.